In the United States, 50 million people go hungry every single day. That's one in five children who tonight aren't going to have enough food in their bellies when they go to sleep. Homeless families face many challenges. Um, hunger is, is among them. Families who don't have a stable place to live um, have a hard time finding nutritious food. They don't have a place to cook. It's especially impactful on the children who are homeless. It's well documented that kids who don't have enough to eat don't do as well at school. This year, I have, at this point, nine students, four families that are affected by homelessness. Probably for the last six to seven years, it's been increasing every year. Children have, sometimes are not eating breakfast or not eating dinner. And so then we have children that are distracted and calling out in class, sometimes even withdrawn and fall asleep at their table. My husband lost his job last, a couple years ago from um, his heart. So we, he had to retire early. And so um, we couldn't afford our home anymore. And to lose that, it was really hard for us. We went from three meals to one meal a day because we didn't have the money. And uh, we just suggested um, with Julius, we would go without and give him the one meal. Sometimes I'd take him to McDonald's and let him eat. Me and my husband would go without. But I can't wait to get our own place again. You know, I'm looking forward to that. We serve about 37,000 meals a year. We work with a nutritionist, and uh, Ben and I pretty much have a menu set together. She makes sure we're balanced, which we are. We serve fruit, vegetables, carbohydrate, and a protein. The food that we prepare, we really focus on the kids. That's our future, the kids. We know that we can provide that one moment for a family to sit together for 30 minutes to just feel human, feel like they exist and we're acknowledging how important they are to us and that's why we're providing this service to them. Hamilton, through our children's program, does a lot of wonderful activities to help prepare kids to learn about healthy eating choices. Well, today we are doing a cooking program. We went and we picked up a lot of different types of fruits for the kids to cut up and try as like a little taste test. Food education is really important to teach kids because it shows that there are alternatives. Fast food might be quick, but if we just spend a little bit of time, we can prepare something that is like nothing they've had before, that just tastes amazing and that is totally healthy for them. If our food program did not exist, it would you know, it would be borderline catastrophic. Our families would have to rely on handouts. They would have to go to food pantries on a daily basis. All of that time takes away from their housing search, from their employment search. It's completely feasible that if we did not have our food program here, families would spend a month, two months, even three months longer in a family shelter. It's not just about providing people with meals. It's about providing them with tools so when they leave our shelter and move into their own homes, they know how to cook affordable and nutritious meals. Without community support from people like you, we couldn't provide our children's programs, we couldn't offer food and nutrition programs, and to me these are some of the most important things that we do at Hamilton Family Center to help families on the road from homelessness to being housed. But this is a lot of people, this is the only food they have. They need that program. 